And today it's really sad. All we hear about lately is athletes getting arrested, doing terrible things, and they're always in the spotlight in the media. Um, and I look at someone like yourself who has turned out amazing. We're making a commitment to tell the good news and to share the good news and share the good things because there are a lot of people out there doing good. Ghana was incredible. It, it was our first three days. We were in a small village of Niamni Akrom. And three days, we were building our first school. Now let me tell you, it was extremely challenging. You know, um, you mix the cement yourself. You mix, you know, the bricks. You mix the mortar that they, you know, laid the, in between the bricks. You do all of that manually yourself. You flip the bricks over, you let them dry in the sun, and then you come back. So it was actually more physically tasking than I had anticipated, you know, and, um, we, but the team was incredible. You know, everybody was exhausted, everybody was tired, <laughs> but we were committed that we were going to finish that foundation before we left. So over those three days, we mixed cement and laid bricks and mixed cement and laid bricks and we finished the foundation and stepped back and it was just a, a, a great feeling mm -hmm. of accomplishment knowing that this work that we had put in over these three days had laid the foundation that would go forward and educate and impact so many kids in this small village. I'm Lisa Varga and today we're going to be talking about sports and charity. Do you ever wonder what your favorite players do in the off-season? These are their stories. Today we travel to South Bend, Indiana, or as some like to call it, Notre Dame country. I had the chance to talk to head basketball coach Mike Bray and one of his current players, Eric Adkins, as they show us how they're making a difference in the world through charity and giving back. I know you do a lot of things in the off-season. But one of the things that I love most is that you are so involved with so many different charities. I mean, I think there's four of them that you're involved in. You have the Jimmy V Foundation. You've got Coaches versus Cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the Men of Heart, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Um, you did something for Fight Club for Cancer. Let's talk about you in the off season and all of the different charities that you're involved with and uh, just expand on it a little bit and tell us why and how you got involved with this. Well, I think, you know, when you coach at a major college level, your profile is high and you have an amazing platform to affect change, maybe a little bit like a politician, like it or not. Um, and I've always felt to use that when you're not in the basketball season to, to help people and to do things in the community. I, I love that I'm very involved in the South Bend community being here 14 years. Tell me a little bit about Coach Bray. Um, coach Bray is, is, you know, is, is a great, great coach, friend, and, and mentor um, for me. Um, I want to grow up and be a coach one day, and, and he's somebody that's great to look up to. Um, and you know, as, as a friend, he's always there to, to talk to um, and, and always help a, a helping hand for me. So you know, uh, I only have positive things to say about him. When we have free time, you know, we, we always try to um, you know, help out with the things that Coach Breyer do is doing um, in the community. So this is a chance that I get to um, that, that that I get to help out. And what exactly are you doing today? Um, today I'm I, I have my skills group. Um, we're down here working on a different uh, ball handling, shooting, um, and uh, 
you know, we're just we're just trying to get better and, and have a healthy day. There we go. Oh! There we go. How many points? Three points. We're gonna count that as three. <laughs> That's two and a half. <laughs>